Hello, this is Gray Hughes of Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. As many of you know, a K-Bar knife sheath was found in Madison Mogan's room on her bed on the right side of her body underneath a quilt during the investigation of the quadruple homicide of Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonzalez, Ethan Chapin, and Zana Kernodle on November 13th, 2022. The knife sheath has been the subject of many conversations. Some people believe that it merely fell off in a fight for life with Madison Mogan or Kaylee Gonzalez. They think it fell off uh, during a confrontation, and some people even say that that same morning, at 9 in the morning, Brian Koberger, after already arriving back at his home in Pullman, Washington, decided to drive back out at 9 a.m. to the Moscow, Idaho crime scene to go look for the knife sheet. But I think that's almost ludicrous to believe that someone would go back at 9 a.m. when people are generally moving around and try to get into a house to look for the knife sheath or even outside of the house, placing himself near the crime scene. I think it's much more likely that Brian Koberger was at the crime scene to admire his handiwork. He wanted to drive by to see law enforcement and people working the scene. My opinion on the knife sheath, and it has been, is that there's a good chance that the knife sheath is a signature left there intentionally by Brian Koberger. Now, the main reason that I think it is a signature is the lack of DNA on the sheath itself. They only found Brian Koberger's DNA on the underside of the clasp on the sheath. Why isn't there more DNA on the knife sheath? Surely when he purchased it on Amazon, that when he got it, he grabbed it with his hands. And if he didn't grab it with his hands, why didn't he do that? It seems to me that Brian Koberger was trying to minimize the DNA exposure on that knife sheath. And why would he be doing that if he intended to bring it back home with him? It wouldn't matter at that point. So the only thing that you could think of then is that he intended to leave the knife sheath there as a calling card, a signature. Uh, maybe he wanted people to start saying the K-Bar killer. And maybe he thought that would have been kind of funny since his initials are BK and that would be like K-Bar. Maybe he thought that would be clever in some way. But I think when you look at the fact that there's no DNA other than a little tiny bit of touch DNA on the back of that clasp, you have to ask yourself why. Why isn't there more DNA, touch DNA, all over that knife sheath? We don't know for certain if the knife sheaths are made by hand somewhere or manufactured in a factory. Uh, either way, perhaps at some point somebody would have touched it. And again, if there's no DNA on it, why not? Why is Brian Koberger's DNA just barely present as touch DNA on the clasp and nowhere else? I think people really need to take a look at that. Because I think, to me, that's the strongest evidence that he intended to leave that knife sheath there. So that's really all I wanted to put out on this video is I want people to take a look at that. Now, in the comments section, let me know what you think about that using what I've just told you as a guide. Why isn't more of Brian Koberger's DNA all over that knife sheath? I look forward to reading your comments in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, everybody, until next time, be safe out there.